And good evening and welcome into game time. It was ugly from start to finish. The Wildcats losing their best player earlier in the week, and everyone wanted to know how they would respond this afternoon on the road to Tennessee. And the answer, it came very quickly. In the first half, the Cats would grab the lead. Archie Goodwin drives to the bucket, the reverse layup. The Cats up five to three. Goodwin finished with seven. Then off the pick and roll, Alex Poitras goes baseline. Game tied at seven. Poitras more fouls, five, then points, four. And then the wheels came off. Assistant coach John Robick tossed early in the half. It would be a long day between the UK staff and the Zebras. A couple of more technical fouls would follow. Tennessee goes on a 26 to 5 run. Josh Richardson gets the bounce. Ball's up 33 to 12. Kyle Wilcher then backs it in and turns, hits it to make it 37-18 Tennessee. He led the Cats with 18 points. <clears throat> Willie Collie Stein, all eyes on him today. He tried to pick up the slack for the injured Noel. Runs down the board and the bucket there. 43 to 20. Collie Stein fouls out, however, with just two points. Jared Pulse in there at the buzzer of the first half. Tried to fill in it for Ryan Harrow, but it was 50 to 26 at the break. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, second half. All Tennessee. Trey Golden on the run out. The layup there. The ball's doubling up to Kentucky 60 to 30. He led all scores with 24. Julius Mays continues his three point shooting against SEC opponents. Cats down 26. Mays with the dozen. UT's Jordan McCray, he had 15 for the winners. Hits the runner across the lane. Tennessee hands Kentucky its worst loss ever in Knoxville. It's worst beating since losing to Bandy by 41 during the Billy Gillespie era. 88 58 the final. Our Rob Romley amidst the aftermath of this one. It was not good here in Knoxville. Kentucky's worst loss since 2008. They were playing without Nerland's Noel. But John Calipari didn't hold back talking about his team. He said they didn't practice well Friday, and he simply has a problem with a couple of players. We got a couple guys that are basically not real coachable. You tell them over and over and over what you want to do, what we have to do, and they do their own thing. And that's where we are. And, and when they realize that if we don't do this all together, we're going to have many more of these. We got to find something that'll help us uh, just remain positive, and we just got to have higher intensity, really. And, uh, and hopefully, we'll find it. I mean, it was very disappointing on our part. Uh, we didn't come out of the gate with any uh, fire and aggressiveness, and they jumped on us early. And uh, I mean, it's a huge loss for Minnows, but that's no excuse. I mean, we have plenty of capable guys. We've got to bring it. Got to bring higher intensity. I got to do my thing to get us what's our schemes offensively and defensively, but we can't go out there and fight for them. We can't battle. We can't beat them to 50 50 balls as a staff. We can't want it more than they do. Where it all goes from here, who knows? The Cats still have six games left, and four of those are at home, starting with Vanderbilt next Wednesday night. But they simply have to pull it together without Nerland's Noel and make a run to make it into the NCAA tournament. In Knoxville, Rob Bromley, WKYT Game Time. And thank you, Rob. Kentucky looks to be running out of time and quality wins to make the NCAA tournament, but there are still games to be played. Next up, the Wildcats host Vandy on Wednesday night. Now, the Commodores at home today hosting Texas A&M. Vandy building the lead in the second half. Dejan Parker with a little mustard on this one in the long ball. Vandy led at, by 12. Parker finished with 17. On the other end, Elston Turner pump makes and knocks down the jumper. Elston led the Aggies with 15. Vandy can shoot from three. Rod Odom from deep. Odom hit four three-pointers. He finished with 19 points. And then they worked the ball into Josh Henderson for the turnaround off the glass. Vandy wins 63 to 56. They will travel to Lexington coming up next Wednesday. The best of the NBA are in Houston this weekend for an all-star weekend, including several former Kentucky players. Plus, plenty of big matchups on the college court around the area today. Those highlights are next on Game Time.